A random day after school of Diana. What a tired day. Luckily, I'm home now. I can have a break. Hi, mommy. I'm home. Jesus, what took you so long? Cook the dinner. What? But I'm so tired. I missed the part where's that my problem. What's all this noise about? I'm trying to take my break. Good afternoon, dad. I have a high score on the exam. Whatever, I don't care. Just answer what I just asked you. I told her to cook dinner, but she said she was tired. Are you trying to hide from doing the chores? Give me that stupid paper and start cooking dinner. Now. What are you waiting for? Do it already. Yes, mom. During dinner time. Mom, dad, I'm so hungry. Can we eat now? Don't be rushed. Wait for Susan. Wow, who made these dishes? They look delicious. Thank you for the compliment, sister. Enjoy the meal. What? Did you cook these dishes? Then I'm not eating. Unless you're not here. Susan, what's the matter with you? Diana, enough. Stop arguing with your sister. What did I do? Zip it. Susan, my sweetheart. I have an idea. Just eat up, dear. We will give her something else to eat and tell her to go away. Is that okay, dear? Okay, mom. What? No way. Wait here, Diana. These things would be your dinner. Go to the living room and eat up. How could you do that to me? I'm also your daughter. Stop complaining. Do you want to have nothing to eat? I'm sorry, Dad. I understood. How annoying. Calm down, dear. She's not here anymore. Okay, Mom. Let's eat. I'm so hungry. Meanwhile, Diana. Hoo hoo hoo. How could they treat me like this? I feel like I am not their daughter. Hi. What should I do now? Hey, are you done with your dinner yet? Mom and Dad told me to call you in to wash the plates. You should hurry up. Otherwise, they'll get mad. Susan, hold on. What was your attitude earlier? You had to ask. I always enjoy bullying you, Sister Diana. You, how unreasonable and unacceptable. What? Are you going to do something to me? Try to do it. Dad, Dad, Diana is bullying me. Hoo hoo hoo. Hey, stop it, Susan. Don't slander me. What's going on here? Diana, how dare you bully your sister? No, I didn't do anything. Shut up, you naughty girl. Go to the kitchen and wash the dishes now. Let's go to your room, Susan. It's time to study. Yes, Dad. Ha ha ha, it serves you right. Hey. Back to the kitchen. No, no, Mom. What are you doing? Those dishes are still edible. Why are you giving them to the puppy? Why didn't you let me have the food? Even a puppy deserves a proper meal more than you. Wash the dishes and clean up the kitchen, will you? What's wrong with me today? These things usually happen to me. I should get used to it. Before going to bed, a weird thing happened to Diana. But that cheered up Diana's bad day. Oh, I'm so hungry. But there is nothing left in the kitchen. And if I cook something at this hour, my parents will be mad. Huh? What was that? Puppy, what are you doing here? You want to give me your meal, huh? Thank you, puppy. You are such a good boy. Although I can't eat these foods, I appreciate your kindness. To repay your kindness, I'll take you out for a walk tomorrow morning. How does that sound? Give me a hug, boy. I love you, puppy. Thank you for loving me too. All right, boy. Take that bowl away. I'm going to sleep now. Tomorrow. Darling, which one would you prefer? Hum, let's see. I would like to have the dress on the left. Okay, darling. Here you go. Thank you, mommy. I love this so much. You look fabulous in it. I have a gift for you too. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, daddy. Can I open it up? Yeah, sure. It's yours, so you can do whatever you want. Great. Wow, an iPad. I always want this thing. Haha, <laughs> it's good that you love it. Let's go to the restaurant. After that, there's a beach trip waiting for us. This is going to be great. Mom, Dad, Susan. What's going on? 
Everyone looks cheerful. Is that your problem? Today is Susan's birthday and we're going out. That's all. Hold on a sec. What about me? Today is my birthday too. Can I have a gift? No. Stop talking nonsense. Letting you live in our home is a gift for you already. Be grateful. And don't forget to do the chores. Okay, I'll do it. But can I take puppy out for a walk today? Are you out of your mind? If you go out, who will take care of our house? We won't be here until Sunday evening. Do you want some random thieves to break in and steal everything? You are not going anywhere. Stay at home. Oh, don't be sad and have a nice birthday. You wished her a happy birthday. That was very nice. You are so kind. I know. Ciao, Diana the maid. Let's go. We don't want us to be late for anything. Sorry, puppy. I guess I can't take you out for now. Don't be mad at me, boy. Please wait. I'll try to do something. After a few hours. Well done, boy. Throw back to me. How boring. I don't want to be like this for the rest of my life. But what should I do? Fine. I'll break the rule for the first time. Come on, puppy. I'll take you out for a walk. At a random park. Hey, what's the matter with you? Where are you leading me? Oh my god. A kitty. It's struggling under the water. I need to save it. It's okay now, kitty kitty. Never be around some random lake ever again, understand? Let's try to find your owner. What the? What is this? Finding missing cat, huh? Oh, I think this is easier than I imagined. Let's take you home. At a random house. Excuse me, girl. Who are you looking for? What, Diana? How did you get here? Oh, who are you? How do you know my name? No, nothing. I'm sorry. You look like my daughter. Is this your cat? Yeah, that's right. Can you return it to me? Here you go, sir. Oh, thank God. You're still safe. Thank you, little girl, for saving my pet. No problem, sir. And by the way, excuse me. I'm going home now. Okay, bye-bye. Back to her house. What? Oh, no. Did someone just break into my house? I need to call the police. Oh crap, a little girl. Who? Who are you? How did you get in my house? Oh my god, help, help. Shut up, you little girl. Don't try to scream. Otherwise, I'll send you to the afterlife. Got it. Oh no, my parents will destroy me for this. Hoo hoo hoo, I'm in danger. Mom, dad, please come home soon. And by Sunday evening. Oh my god, what happened? Our home looks like a landfill. Was our home intruded on? Calm down. We need to check what was lost and report it to the police. We just lost some money and a laptop. But this is all Diana's fault. She's not even here. No, I was here all the time. Was that Diana's voice? Where, Where are, are you? you? Thank God, all of you are back. What on earth happened here? I was out to buy some food. When I came home, I faced the thief. But there was nothing I could do. He ran away. What? Are you kidding us? Why didn't you scream for help? He had a weapon, and he threatened me. We told you to stay home. How dare you go out? We lost thousands of dollars because of you. Our properties wouldn't be stolen if you stayed at home. What? Then what about me? Have you no concern for my life? If I had been at home, the thief might have harmed me. We, we missed the, the part where's, where's that, that our problem? problem? Get out of the house. We don't want to see your face anymore. Get, Get out, out of here. here. No, hoo hoo hoo. The troublemaker is gone. Good riddance. At Mr. Wayne's place. Really? How interesting. Yeah, thank you for listening, Wayne. But it's late now. I think I should go home and cook dinner for myself. We'll talk later. Mario, wait. Can I invite you to have dinner with me? Thanks, but I don't think I should bother you anymore. Just take it easy. I don't feel bother at all. Can I have the pleasure of inviting you to dinner? Okay, thank you. I'll accept the invitation. Great. How? Isn't that Diana? Who? Wait here. I'll be right back. Who who who? Where should I go now? Diana, is that you? What happened to you? Why are you crying here? 
Mr. Wayne? It's okay. All right. Tell me what happened. My house was broken in two when I wasn't home. Something was stolen, so my parents kicked me out of the house. Jesus, what kind of mother is she? She didn't love Diana. Then why on earth did she still take her away from me? I want to tell her the truth. But how? It's okay, Diana. Come to my house for now. We'll find a solution later. What? Can I? Yes. Follow me. I'm back. Sorry for keep you waiting. Okay, no problem. But who is this little girl? She is a special person of mine. Do you mind if she has dinner with us too? Not at all. Good, thank you. By the way, cooking dinner will take a while. You are good at makeup. Can you make this little girl look beautiful? Okay, leave that to me. This is nice, but I don't think it's necessary. Come on, you'll love it. Wait here, girl. The house next to Mr. Wayne's place is my home. I need to come back home and take a few things. Okay, madam. Excuse me. Let's find a chair for you. Here it is. Have a seat, young lady. Okay, thank you. After a while. Wow, Diana, you look so pretty. Thank you, Mr. Wayne. This lady is good at makeup and cutting hair. You can call me Maria, girl. Oh, I see. Thank you. All right, let's talk later. Eat up, everyone. I hope you like my dishes. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Wow, your dishes are delicious. I agree with that. After dinner. Thank you for having me. But it's late already, so excuse me. I'll go home. All, All right. right. Just say sorry to your parents. They'll forgive you. Okay, thanks, Maria. You're welcome, little girl. Be careful when you come back home. I will. Thank you for the meal. I'm going home too. You're welcome, Maria. I don't feel secure about Diana. Maybe I should follow her. Back to Diana's house. Jesus, she's not here yet. Every time we chase Diana away, she always comes back. But this time, she's not coming back yet. Should we go find her? No, instead of that, we'll punish her when she returns. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Why are you just standing outside of the house? She's back. Mom, Dad, I want to say sorry for... Zip, Zip it. it. Where on earth have you been? Do you know what time it is? What? I thought and Dad kicked me out of the house. Are you kidding me? Who will do the chores if you are not here? What? So am I nothing but a maid in this house? That's right. And hey, what is this makeup? You look ridiculous. Jessica, take care of that. Okay. Mom, what are you trying to do? Be quiet. Oh no, Mom, what did you do? Be quiet. Get back inside and do the chores. Oh my God, that woman is Jessica, my crazy ex-wife. So there's no doubt about that anymore. I'll tell Diana the truth. Another day. Hoo hoo hoo. Why does my family hate me that much? Diana. What, Mr. Wayne? Why are you here? I was just walking by. What's wrong with you? Did you get scolded by your parents again? No, they are not home. I was threatened and bullied by my younger sister. Why don't you tell your parents? They won't listen to me anyway. Case, Jessica. I have no idea what kind of mother she is. What? How did you know my mother's name? It seems like you know pretty well about me and my family. And you treat me even better than my family. Can you tell me why? I think I won't hide it from you anymore, Diana. I'm your father, dear. What? Are you kidding me? No. I'm not kidding. Jessica is my ex-wife. She left me because I was poor. And I even had a sick mother. At first, I refused to get a divorce because I didn't want to be separated from my daughter. But then I agreed because she offered me an amount to save my dying mother. Ironically, it was too late to save her. My mother died before I took Jessica's money. Oh, how confusing. Are you really my dad? Yes, Diana. I know I will take a while for you to accept the truth. I'll give you a little time. And here, you can take this key. What is this? My house key. Whenever you want, you can move to live with me. Thank you. Come on. Come to my house. I'll cook you something. Besides, Maria will be our guest. Really? That's awesome. Yeah, come with me. Yes, Dad. 
But the annoying sister of Diana heard something, and she would never leave Diana alone for sure. I heard something between Diana and that strange man. I should follow them. Back to Mr. Wayne's house. I'm back, Maria. Do you mind if Diana joins us? Of course not. I adore her too. But hey, what's wrong with your look? My parents didn't like it, so they turned me back to this. It's okay. Don't be sad. Soon, you won't have to put up with it anymore. I'll replace your parents and raise you. What do you mean by that? Diana is my daughter. I met her again after a long time. This is the good news I told you earlier. Wow, congratulations. Mr. Wayne and I have been neighbors for almost five years. He is a good person. You should come here and live with him if you want. Yeah, I know. But maybe I need a little more time. Okay, that's understandable. And one more thing. I'll make up for you whenever you want. Wow, really? Yes, dear. Wow, I would love to. Ha ha. All right. Get in my house. Oh my god, so Diana is not really my sister, and she is planning to run away from my house. If that happens, my parents will lose a maid, and I'll lose someone to make fun of. I must tell my parents. Back to Mr. Kent's house. That's all that I heard. What, oh no? This is not good at all. We can't let her come back to her real father. Should we move to another country? No, that would be a waste of money. Then what should we do now? Aha, uh -huh, I have an idea. Oh, what, what is, is that? that? But we need you to help us, Susan. What can I do? The both of you, come closer. What? Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. Susan, his idea is not bad at all. We're counting on you. Make them misunderstand each other, and then she'll have nowhere to go. All right, I'll try to find the key. Okay, Susan. Good luck with that. Thank you, I understood. One evening. Dad, are you home? Can I come to your place this evening? No, I'm on a business trip. Oh no, I miss you, Dad. I'm sorry, dear. Please don't be sad. You can still come if you want. I'll ask Maria to look after you. It's okay, Dad. I won't be mad at you. I can wait until you're back. All right, dear. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, Dad. I love you, Dad. Goodbye, Diana. I love you too. Hey, what did you put in the closet? What, Susan? What are you doing here? You should at least knock before entering my room. Yeah, fine. Whatever. Can you tell me what you put in your closet? It looks shiny. I want to play with it. No, you can't. Now please go out. Fine, I'll tell mom and dad. Okay, here. It's just a key. Are you satisfied yet? Give it back to me, girl. Not yet. I'll give it to you later. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, what are you trying to do? Don't worry. After getting the key, Diana came to Mr. Bruce's house and messed the whole place up. Ha ha ha. I will mess this place up to slander Diana. Her father will get mad and won't allow her to come here anymore. She'll have nowhere to go. All right, this place looks like a landfill now. And now, should I burn something? No, that would be a dumb act. Maybe I just need to mess the kitchen up. The next day. Oh my god. What on earth happened to my house? Good morning, Dad. Welcome home. Oh, what's going on? Did a thief break into your home? No. The house shows no signs of illegal entry. And you are the only that have my house's key. Diana, what did you do to my house? Now it looks like a battlefield. No, I didn't do anything. Why must I mess this place up? Then who did this? How hard it is to understand. Hot, who is that? Mr. Wayne, it's me, Maria. Can I come in? I need to show you something. Wait for me. Oh, my God, your house. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to find the guilty one. Okay, but I'm sure that the guilty one isn't Diana. Look at this. What? What, Susan? You know her? Yes, I know her. Thank you for vindicating me, Maria. 
Oh no, I'm sorry for blaming you, Diana. It's okay, Dad. A few days later. Excuse me, young lady. Are you Susan Kent? Yes, I am. What's the matter? You have to come with me to the police station. Hold on a sec. Why? I didn't do anything illegal. Just come with me to the police station. And tell your parents to come as well. What's going on? Hoo hoo hoo. At the police station. Susan, why are you here? Did you get hurt? Mom, Dad, save me. Hoo hoo hoo. Why did you arrest my daughter? She's always a nice girl at home. Really? I don't think so. And if you both can't teach her to be a good person, then the law will do that for you. That's right. What, Wayne? Hey, isn't that guy your ex-husband? No, it doesn't even matter. And hey, Diana, why are you here too? I'm with my true father. What's so wrong with that? Jessica, you are still the worst mother as always. And this time, you won't stand a chance to take my daughter away from me. Shut up, Wayne. I'm her mother. She'll stay with me and my new husband. Nope. I won't stay with you. I will stay with dad. Diana, are you a fool? He left you to take my money. He doesn't love you. Dad told me the whole thing. You are not just the worst mother but also a terrible daughter-in-law. Dad needed money to cure my old grandmother and asked you for help, but you denied him. You force him to divorce you before you lend him money. But everything was too late. My grandmother passed away. Not to mention that you took me away from him after divorcing. Wayne, how dare you speak out the truth? Why can't I? Stop it, Mom. I must say his acts at that time were understandable. I can have sympathy for that. And one more thing. Your daughter broke into my house and messed the whole place up. She's old enough to take responsibility before the law. Besides, you and your husband have to compensate for the damage she has caused. What? what? Are you, Are kidding, you kidding, me? kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? He's right. I summoned the both of you here to tell you a few things. Your daughter will be temporarily detained for 72 hours. After that, she will have to do community service for a week. And the amount you have to compensate for her foolishness is $1,000. Oh no, I don't want to be in jail. Mom, Dad, you can't let her arrest me. Okay, calm down. Let me handle this. I'll give you $3,000. Can you let her go? Great, you just made the situation worse by trying to bribe me. All of your actions and words in this room have been recorded. What? Oh no. Please take them away. Come on, move your legs. Let's go. Hey, hey, calm down. What are you doing? Let me go. Sir, can you give me some advice about the law? How can I move to live with my dad legally? I don't want to live with my mother anymore. Okay, I can help you with that. Thank, Thank you. you. Jessica, why are you still here? Do you want to join your husband and daughter? I underestimated both of you. Fine. Mr. Wayne, you can take her home. I'll call you later if there's another problem. Thank you for helping us. Don't say that. That's my duty. Excuse, Excuse us. us. One month later, Mr. Wayne was successful in obtaining custody of his daughter. However, Kent's family had to go to the police station to bail Susan out because she caused another trouble. Susan, can you please just give us a break? That's the third time I've had to go to the police station to bail you out. Dad, why are you scolding me? I'm just a kid. That's right, dear. Take it easy on her. Stop defending her. You are spoiling this little troublemaker. What? what? How could you speak such words about her? She's your daughter. Earl, I can't take it anymore. Jessica, Susan, listen up. If you two cause me trouble one more time, I don't mind kicking you both out of my house. Understood. And now, go home yourselves. Taxi, over here. Hey, come back here. Dad, who who who? Meanwhile, Diana and her father. Dad, can I ask you something? Sure, dear. What's the matter? You have a crush on Maria, don't you? I can help you win her heart, Dad. Ha ha ha. Look at your face. You are blushing. That means I said the right thing. Oh, Diana. Cut it out. You dare to make fun of me today, huh? What bravery. I'm out of here. I need to go out for a while. 
Bye bye, Diana. I adore Maria too. She's a good person. I should do something to help him. One day. Dad is not home. I'll try to do something. Aha. Hello, what's wrong, Diana? Dad, when will you come home? Help me. Hoo hoo hoo. Maria is in our home and she fainted for no reason. What? Please say this is just a joke. Dad is coming home. I have to hurry up. I'm here, Diana. What's the matter? Maria, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Hoo hoo hoo. Help us. Hey, don't make me scare. What's happening? My dad said if anything happened to him, to tell Maria that I love her. That's all I can tell you. Hey, this joke is not funny at all. What do you mean by that? Oh no, I need to check what's going on. Diana, Mr. Wayne, open the door. Are any of you inside? Hello, hello. Huh? The door is not locked. Mr. Wayne and Maria later met in the living room, and both of them were surprised. Mr. Wayne, you are still unharmed. What? Maria, why are you? Where is Diana? And you, I thought you. All right, I get it. Maybe Diana planned to get us together. Jesus, I am sure all of these things are Diana's doing. She is quite a prankster. I hope you don't mind. No, I don't mind at all. She told me that you liked me. Is that true? Yeah, yes, that's right. I just didn't know how to tell you. Oh, Wayne, you are the father of a girl already, but you are as clumsy in love as a teenager. The truth is, I like you too. Why don't we try to become a couple? Really? Oh, thank you. Ha ha ha, Dad, you owe me this time. Yeah, yeah, all right. Thank you, Diana. Mrs. Maria, I hope you will be a good wife to my dad. Please always love him. Thank you, girl. I will. And I promise to be a good stepmother to you. I can trust you. One year later, Mr. Wayne and Maria had a child and got married. Maria, thank you for accepting me as your husband. And I thank you for giving me a family. I love you, Edward Wayne. I love you too, Maria Cahill. Mom, Dad, you both please exchange rings and kiss each other. I'll help you hold the baby. That's right. Thank you, dear. The four of them lived happily together forever and ever. The end.